Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm using these tumbling tower game blocks and also these wood cubes to create three different glam candle holders. For this step right here, I'm gluing 12 wood blocks together and this will be the bottom piece to my candle holder. Now I'm making a square and this will be the blocks I'm using to help build my candle holder. You want to make sure you glue the corner piece last so the block fits right in. Okay, so I did five layers and I'm going to create two more of these. I'm using my foam board and the block I just created to trace little squares. Now I'm gluing my square foam pieces to both sides of my block. For this step, I'm creating a mixture which consists of my black acrylic paint and also my Crafter Square glitter that I purchased from Dollar Tree. These are the top and bottom pieces to my candle holder and of course I'm starting with the bottom first and for these little wood cubes I'm just basically gluing them into a block. I'm making four sets of these, eight pieces in total for each and I didn't fully cover these wood blocks because the bottom will not be showing. Now I'm gluing this block to the center and I'm going to keep stacking everything until I reach the top. Now I'm using some of this rhinestone sticker paper to cover up the top of my blocks. Now I'm flipping it over to make it a little bit more secure by adding some more glue. I'm using more of these rhinestone stickers and I'm basically decorating wherever I see fit. To add some detail to my candle holder, I'm using these square mirror tiles. To make this extra glam, I'm using my silver diamond wrap and I'm just basically putting it wherever I see fit. Once I was satisfied with the way it looked, I then removed any excess glue strings, cleaned my mirrors off, and then I had something that looked like this. I'm really impressed with the way this turned out. It doesn't even look like it was handmade with wood blocks, but tell me what y'all think down in the comments. For candle holder number two, I'm creating the centerpiece right now and I'm basically putting the blocks together in the shape of a square, but I'll be turning it into a diamond. Mm -hmm. 
I basically completed the same steps as I did for candle holder number one with the top and bottom pieces and now I'm just gluing my diamond shape to the bottom piece of my candle holder. This part was a little challenging because I had to hold my diamond shape into place until I got done gluing my wooden cubes down. Now I'm flipping it over to add the top piece. I decided to go with the longer wood blocks for the top. I used that same mixture as I did for candle holder number one and I'm also using more of the gemstone stickers to decorate this project as well. I'm also using more of the diamond wrap as well. Once I was done with these last steps, I cleaned all my mirrors off, removed any excess glue strings, and then I had something that looked like this. Just look at how unique this looks. I'm super impressed with this one, but tell me what y'all think down in the comments. I'm basically completing the same exact steps as I did for candle holders number one and two, but for this one, I'm putting it in a shape that kind of mimics a C or a half G. These are my top and bottom pieces, and now I'm just gluing everything together. I'm really loving how all three turned out. I honestly cannot pick a favorite. Comment down below which one you like best and please like and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.